Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is called Maximum Product. This is a problem that I've seen on the internet and other places, but I've never actually tried for myself, and I'm really excited to share it with you and then figure out how it'll end up. Here's how it works. You take a number, for example, here I've taken the number 10, a positive whole number, I should say, and you start breaking it into some things that you could use to add up to make 10. Again, I'm going to stick for now with positive whole numbers. So 4 plus 6 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 10, 5 plus 3 plus 2 is also 10. You, there's a lot of different ways that you could do this. After you do a few of these, you take the two, the two or multiple add-ins and you multiply them together. So all these things that make the 10, we're going to multiply together. In this case, 4 times 6 is 24. And what we're going to try and do is maximize this product. What is the biggest number we can make when we start breaking 10 into its uh, whole number parts on all these different ways? That one's 24. You can see 5 plus 5 is like a little bit better. It's 25. So that's a little better than where we were. This one is 7 times 1, which is 7 times 1, which is 7 times 1, which is 7. That gives me a product of 7. And you might start to notice here that using 1's when we're going to eventually start multiplying, probably less than ideal, right? Because they don't make the product any bigger. But I wanted to show you that that is one of the options. How about 5 and 3 and 2? Well, let's see. 5 and 3 and 2. 5 times 3 is 15 times 2 would be 30. So this product would be 30. Hey, that's pretty good. That's the best one so far. So challenge number one for this math treat is try some other things for breaking up this 10 into uh, a, a sum of other whole numbers. Then multiply those whole numbers together to get a product and see what is the maximum product that you can possibly make. Is 30 the best you can do or could you do better? What if you did 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2? Wow, that would be a lot of multiplication. Maybe that would get you past 30. I don't know. Try it, see what you can come up with. So question number one, what is the maximum product for the number 10 following these rules? Question number two, what about a number like 25 or 100? What's the maximum product you can make from 100? How many numbers could we uh, add up to make 100 and multiply and make it something really, really big? Is it a number you can even calculate on your calculator? I don't know, let's find out. So try it with 10, try it with some bigger numbers as always. Try and look for a pattern or a structure or a formula or an equation or something that could help you figure this out or maybe you'll find an, a procedure or a process to generate the highest possible product from any number, any number that we start with. Maybe you've come up with some rules for how to do that. I don't know. I haven't done this problem so I don't know where this goes. But I'm excited to try it with you and then explore and see what we can come up with. So that is this math treat, maximum product. As always, just have fun playing with the math and see how far you can go.